essential information for all of you. And, and maybe we can start by just giving a quick introduction. I know there are many of us, but maybe just your name and chapter. Uh, if everyone sits down, we can start. Vasvi and Archana. I think all of you have seen the program, so I will start with an introduction followed by Vasvi's presentation on white flow and then a presentation on branding and communication by Kiran Gera. I will introduce everyone as we uh, get to their sessions. So first let's start with introductions. You know there are about 80 of us here in a hall of a thousand. So it, it doesn't look like that many. Maybe we can start from the, the right. Should we start? Jayanti, aap se shuru kare? Introduction? Just name and... Delhi. Jayanti Dalmia, Delhi. Sucheta Shah, Mumbai. Ranjina Agarwal, Delhi. Kiran Kira, Bombay, Mumbai. Uchwila Singha, Anya, Mumbai. Anuradha Goyal, Delhi. Nandita Munshya, Ahmedabad chapter. Pavani Agarwal, Ahmedabad. Rupa Patel, Ahmedabad. Shubha Pandari, Ahmedabad. Vicky Reddy, Hyderabad. Vidhi Swaru, Hyderabad. Alaknanda Das, Northeast. Dr. Shruti Mala Dwara, Assam, Northeast. Prabhidita Bharati, Northeast. Idrani Dev, Northeast. Akila Srinivasan, Chennai. Sudha Shiv Kumar, Chennai. Devi Karamesh, Kwaibato. Ritu Das, Delhi. Ruchika Gupta, Delhi. Avantika Dalmia, Delhi. Radhika Vatliwal, Delhi. Monica Chaudhary, Ludhiana. Meghna Madhwani, Indore. Bhavna Balla, Indore. Anyone left? <laughs> Poonam Mahajan, Delhi. Pavan Jain, Delhi. Okay, and we have... Archana one. Lutra, Delhi. Lipika Sood, Delhi. Come in, come in, come in. Archana Surana, Jepai. I can see some more weary travelers who must have left this morning. Ritu Vadera, Delhi. Sniti Abhi, Delhi. Meera Goyal, Delhi. Manisha Srivastav, Calcutta. Sudhira Jamaria, Calcutta. Suchandra Pretoria, Kolkata. Hi, Anupama Sureka, Kolkata. Rati Dandaniya, Bangalore. Vandana Piti Agarwal, Bangalore. Dr. Nupur Handa, Bangalore. Lakshmi Ishwar, Bangalore. Revati Raju, Bangalore. Sabina Sangvi, Pune. Varsha Chordia, Pune. Shilpi Arora, Delhi. Meenu Jhunjhunwala, Kanpur, Lucknow chapter. 
अनुराधा वाशने कानपुर लखनऊ चैप्टर और पढ़ना मिश्रा लखनऊ कानपुर चैप्टर अंजू नारायण लखनऊ कानपुर चैप्टर माधुरी हलवासिया लखनऊ प्रीति झुंझुनवाला लखनऊ कानपुर चैप्टर सुनीता कनोरिया कोलकाता पूजा गोइंका कोलकाता चैप्टर तृप्ति गुप्ता वाइफ लोग हैं Delhi. I think uh, I saw Padma and all walking in. They haven't introduced themselves. Kamini Sura, Hyderabad. Padma Reddy, Hyderabad. Okay, are we done? We have some more. No. Okay, so anyway, now I think a couple of, uh, uh, we have about 80, 85 people. Yes, I will, just before I start. Um, Rashmi, my presentation is on, will they just show the first slide? So, um, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to orientation 2016-17. And uh, thank you so much for, uh, you know, to all of you for flying in from everywhere and uh, thank you also to everybody who's made such an effort to help me out with this orientation. I'd uh, like to specially thank our past presidents who are sitting right here in front of me, Anuradha ji, Kiran, not ji, and Ranjana. <laughs> thank you very much for coming here, and thank you very much for taking on some very large sessions, which run till the end of the day almost. Um, orientation is held only once a year. And it's, it's quite special because people give their time to come in to talk about their roles, their experiences. And as a member of this organization, as a member of FLO, this orientation will help you be and help you play a better role in the organization. Um, so let's start uh, with my presentation, which is basically an introduction to FLO. I'm sure most of you know what FLO is about, but... Um, So before we talk about what flow is, we really need to know um, why is why are we who we are, and why is it that when we go to any person or anywhere, doors open to us. I think very simply, it's also because uh, we have uh, a parent body which has enormous resources and uh, has uh, enormous potential, and our. Uh, uh, reputation stems from them. They have so many chambers of commerce, trade associations, and so many corporates uh, that are part of their uh, uh, membership or their member cachet. Uh, what does FICI do? I mean, they are the top leader for the industry. It's a voice for policy change. It carries forward initiatives to support rapid, inclusive, sustainable growth. Uh, when the U.S. president visits, or even when somebody like Sheryl Sandberg visits, or most recently when Sunita Williams visited. I mean, they call up FIKI, they call up FLO, they want to meet the women, they want to meet the chambers of commerce. So FIKI basically listens, analyzes, influences, and connects the government with the corporate. It's also a voice for policy change. FIKI works with the government. It works as a consultant, a strategic think tank. It's the corporate face of India. It interacts at the highest level. I mean, I don't need to tell you with the, the Prime Minister's Council, with the Chief Ministers, with the Cabinet Ministers, with just about everybody. It has a national presence in more than 13 places. It also has a global presence in USA, London, right down to Dubai. You can see all that on the slide. So our, basically, our potential stems from their enormous resources. Why was Flow created? I mean, we've had, uh, I think, Archana is the 32nd president of Flow. Um, you know, the world talks about empowerment of women today, and Flow has been quietly working away at empowerment for 32 years. Um, this is our uh, founding president, uh, Indu Jain, who is uh, from the Times Group. These are some of our other presidents. I couldn't get all the photographs, there were so many. So these are just some of them. Um, there's Anuradha ji, there's Archana's mother. Um, 
Now, the agenda of our floor, which is empowerment of women, is um, reflected through our programming, um, which, of course, our programming is done at all levels. We promote it by uh, seminars, workshops, vocational training. We promote entrepreneurship. And with all these things, we promote economic empowerment at all levels. The focus of the activities are women from grassroots level to the middle level to the senior level. We do it in all our chapters. We have 12 chapters. And the 13th chapter was launched at uh, Lucknow Kanpur. And I have a, a wonderful newspaper cutting, which is just one of I don't know how many that came out. It was an amazing launch. We had the chief ministers. We had uh, members of secretariat. We had bureaucracy. We had international agencies. We had the police. We had just about everybody there. We had about four, 500 people who attended the launch. Um, this is just one of the newspaper clippings. Now, I wanted to talk about Young Flow. I'm sure you're all aware that India has an unrivaled youth demographic. Um, half the country's population of 1.25 billion is under 25. So we have 356 million 10 to 25 year olds. India has the highest youth population despite having an overall smaller population than China. Why is young flow important? Um, young people are innovators, builders, creators, and leaders for the future. But they can transform the future only if they have skills, health decision, making and real choices in life. This is the importance of Y flow. Today's young people present an enormous opportunity to transform the future. Never before have there been so many young people and never again is there likely to be this potential. So I'm really looking forward to Y flow's uh, year this year. I have met up only with Trupti so far and she has an amazing meticulous year plan for us, at least in Delhi. And I'm sure so does uh, Kolkata and Hyderabad. And uh, we are really looking forward to it. Uh, we also have several partners in the work that we do. Uh, the Government of India, SBI, UNFPA, UN Women. I think uh, our relationship with them goes back to 2004 and 5. And uh, uh, we now, of course, have uh, new partners in Archana's year. Like, I think we have Uber coming on. We have Snap Deal. We have Twitter. Um, I want to go through some of the programs that uh, Flo does in all its chapters uh, through the years because you can then see how our initiatives that Archana has taken off this year are actually divided across all levels and divided in all the chapters. We have programs at the senior level, we have programs at the middle level, and then at the grassroots level. At the senior level, we have women corporate directors, we have industrial parks. At the middle level, we have Swayam. At the grassroots level, we have um, I think Archana calls it Gram Yojana, but I think now she's calling it the Smart Village because it really did well in Ahmedabad. And we, of course, have the WE initiatives. This year, I'm also looking forward to launch um, a legal services cell, which is an extension of legal services which Swayam provides, but is really going to uh, be a tool to help business women with legal issues at work and maybe even at home. Uh, we hope to have a simple, elegant, effective model in place soon. Now, these are some of the programs that uh, we have. Um, this is a program with police, uh, which uh, Mumbai chapter had. These are at the grassroots level, you know, mobile telephony unit, the sanitation that uh, has been done in several schools in Mumbai. Uh, the Chennai chapter had conducted a special income generation program. Uh, Coimbatore chapter actually um, had this uh, event to teach children about global warming. Northeast and several other chapters had amazing drives for collecting relief for Guwahati. This is the launch of uh, Swayam. Um, here, I think uh, uh, Mr. Kalraj Mishra is launching uh, uh, the website. And this is uh, uh, an initiative for the middle, grassroots, and maybe even senior women. So if you have a business idea, you can take it to fruition by using our business consultancy cell, which is headed by Sucheta Shah. She's sitting here with us. We have some of these programs, which are also important. Um, the Flow Women's uh, Entrepreneurs Park in Hyderabad. I think uh, we have several other parks which uh, are in the pipeline. This was the first 
executive program at ISB in Hyderabad. I think subsequently Ujwala has helped us with some in IIM, Ahmedabad, and other universities as well. Uh, awards is another way of encouraging women to uh, do amazing stuff. You know, um, this is an award that Kolkata had. These are some of the events that Young Flow has had, which are also informative, and they are, you know, I mean, you learn so much from them, and they keep members engaged. We've had seminars uh, with Deepak Chopra, with Raju Nanandan. We've had an amazing session in Nita's year with Cheryl Sandberg. We have an annual event, which is face-to-face -face with Delhi police on several topics with them, which is led by Harjinder. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, chapters ask about fundraising programs. So these are some of the fundraising programs that are done, and a lot of chapters can emulate them and maybe take uh, models from uh, you know, the chapters and see how they can adapt it to their chapter. This is a program that's done in Mumbai. It's been done three or four times. Uh, this is a program also which was done uh, in Mumbai uh, with artists. Uh, we raise money through this exhibition. We've been raising money for five years, and with this money, Mumbai chapter uh, builds sanitation facilities for rural schools in Maharashtra. This is the Plo Film Festival, which has just concluded in Mumbai, which was, I think, the first of its kind. And uh, it ran from Monday to Saturday, showed 32 international films, which dealt with empowering women at all levels. Um, it was, uh, as you can see, the Honorable Governor of Maharashtra, the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, and Solan Kapoor were there at the launch. Uh, one of the advantages of uh, joining uh, FLOW, uh, one of the opportunities that it extends to its members is uh, the opportunity on going on foreign delegations. Uh, foreign delegations, this one is in Bangladesh. Uh, I think they got an opportunity to learn about microcredit. These are some of the delegations. This was an amazing one where we met all the ministers in Bhutan. We also met the Queen Mother. I'm showing you these because these are really almost archival. I have actually dug them out from some really old presentations from past presidents. Because the newer ones, some of you would have been on them and seen the photographs. Another opportunity that um, Flo offers uh, all its members, um, it is uh, an opportunity uh, for uh, uh, some of us in flow, uh, we got an opportunity to talk in bilateral dialogues between the Spanish and Indian government. This session has Nena Lal Kidwai representing FIKI and I'm representing flow. In other sessions, uh, Archana represented flow and she also moderated a session. Um, so these are the kind of opportunities that flow gives all of us. Uh, we also had an opportunity to meet His Excellency Mohan Kumar in Paris. Um, the delegation to Iceland, Denmark, Austria, and Slovakia. It was amazing. We got a chance to meet all sorts of parliamentarians, uh, business women. A lot of business deals were struck, and a lot of learning about the gender index ratio uh, between, uh, I mean, Iceland is going the other way, so they have a problem which I don't think we can even dream of having. There are some fabulous domestic delegations that have been taken over the years uh, with the past presidents, or you can call them uh, networking uh, sessions. We had an opportunity to meet Sri Mulyani Indravati. Uh, she's the managing director and crew of World Bank. She specially asked to meet the women of Flow, and it was quite a privilege. She had a team of 13 people who actually came and sat down and took notes when we were talking. They wanted to know where to spend their budgets next year, and some of her suggestions were taken very seriously. We had a lunch uh, with uh, uh, Mr. Hopper, who is the chairman and president of Exim Bank America. He was a special envoy of President Obama, and he actually came here to encourage women to ex import things from America. And he offered us special, um, you know, dollar rates and special uh, lending rates if we would do that. And they actually set up a point person in case anyone wants to get into business and needs to import things from uh, the U.S. Uh, some of those awards, uh, achiever awards, uh, which have been to. Uh, some very outstanding women for work that they have done over the years. I have collected this from across all chapters, but this just gives you an idea of the kind of women that we uh, give awards to. 
Her Excellency Shikha Lukna. Uh, we also, uh, we didn't give this award. Uh, she's amongst us, which is why um, I put this. Uh, Akila Srinivasan, uh, she got Business Today's Most Powerful Women Award, Business Award, and I have the privilege of being there. Uh, these awards are yet to happen on 18th of March in Pune, and I hope uh, everyone can make a trip there. Some of the other unique opportunities in flow are uh, joining uh, international affiliations. Um, you know, uh, we have uh, Cassie uh, Mukta Jain, is past president, is the president. Um, I will not talk about what it can do for you because there's a session in which they'll be informing all of you uh, the advantages of joining them. They, this is the, I don't know why that was photographed, yeah. The International Women's Entrepreneurial Challenge which is led by uh, Nina Malhotra. Harjinder has just been appointed the brand ambassador. Uh, Falguni was one of the uh, awardees. And there is this photograph of uh, uh, some of us outside uh, the Chamber of Commerce in Barcelona. Um, I have put it there because I think they were the partners along with Manhattan Chamber of Commerce that came together with Flo and set this up. Here is uh, Shwek, which is the Sark Chamber Women's Entrepreneurial Council. Uh, we had an amazing exhibition last year and a conference. This is Women Corporate Directors, which is led by Ranjana Agarwal, who's with us here today. She'll talk a little bit about it. The initiative in uh, Flow is led by uh, Ujwala Singhania, who's here with us. Flow also has a role to play in uh, the budget. I think uh, Ranjana used to, I remember when I was a chairperson, uh, present a gender budget. I think once or twice, I remember you calling me up and saying that, do you have any ideas about it? And I was like really shaken up. I said, no, I don't.